Alright guys, I'm going to go over the steps and procedures that it takes to modify the SJ Cam SJ4000 with an external audio jack. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is remove the battery. Remove the front face plate, just get a fingernail under there. Lift slightly in each corner. There we go. Now we're going to take off a bunch of screws on the face here. two in each of the left corners. And there's one more right here, so I have to get under the sticker. Then the one on the top left of the lens. Lift this guy up. And the face comes right off. Now with the modification that I've done already, I'll have to remove it. And that is our audio jack. That is all it is. Two wires. Now with this jack specifically, there was a ground on the side, and on the back there were two prongs, which I fused together for the positive. Alright, so you can't really get it that easily with one of the plastic tools, so go at it with a razor blade. Just get to the very bottom of the glass. And lift up. Keep pushing slowly. Slowly. And there we go. So it's held on by a double sided sticky tape. So you want to leave that face up. Next, we got to get the screen out. go. And I've heard that some of these older ones are a little different, but you got these ribbons, and this one just pops straight up. Some of them pull straight that way, and then you can remove it. Back to this side, and this whole thing actually just pops right out. Now the easiest way that I had found to do it, right here, and just pull. There you go. Free from the casing. <clears throat> this is what you need access to. Now for the Wi-Fi edition, there is a wireless um, <clears throat> antenna here. Just get that out of the way. And if you'll notice how I did this, right here, there is a little microphone. Uh, 
and on the back side there are two prongs. Those two prongs go through here and here and need to be desoldered from the underside. So we get a soldering gun out, heat them up, push it through, and eventually get it off. But you'll have positive and negative. So just solder them back on, use a bit of wire, and attach them to your mic jack. Positive is going to be the back side, negative is going to be the side here. Now the reason why this audio jack comes with two terminals is for dual audio or stereo. Um, I linked them together so that you get audio on both channels. Uh, that's the only way to work it since this uh, camera only records in mono. So from here installation is just reversed. But you are going to have to locate a portion of the case to drill your hole. You will want it only big enough for that to fit through. And it is easiest to find one that holds itself in place. Now line these up first and then push down. There we go. Shove that antenna down in there. And for me, this was actually a bit too tall, so I had to shave some right off the top. Otherwise, this plate would catch on it and wouldn't go down all the way. screen back in. Now you will actually feel it slide in and when you do just push that down or pull it back whichever version you have. Uh, this has a bit of a bend to it. So you just bend it back in place, bottom in first, then the top, until it fits nice and snug. go. Put the glass back on and you'll notice down here there's actually a sticky strip, a little rubber uh, separator. So that goes down here. So just pop that back on and it will adhere back to itself. back to the front, put this guy back on, and insert the screws. Okay, and this has three feet that it actually fits back onto. So line them up, push down, you will feel it slide into place. and the top piece. Make sure it's flush all the way around. Now we can reinsert the battery. And in our case the memory card. By the way guys, you'll want to use at least a class 10, otherwise you'll have recording issues. Has to do with speed. And there we go. We still need to modify the case that it fits in. Now the nice thing about this jack is it's low profile enough to still fit in the case without modifications it will fit all the way forward. So when you do so, you can get to the side of the glass and mark around it 
get a drill bit that's big enough and drill it out. Now from this point, I've had to modify mine a little bit. I didn't make the hole big enough. I should have made it a little bit bigger, but I modified my mic anyways to work with it. There you go. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope it helped out. Uh, if you enjoyed it, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe if you like it.